Kendra. Today I have a really large makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoy this. I have um, also stuff from the makeup show that I went to about a month ago now. So I've been trying out those products already. So I can give you like a mini review too. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So I'm going to start with Sephora. This, my package came to the door at like 8.30 at night last night. It was so weird. But first up I have the Mai Tai Spritzer Sea Salt Spray by Dry Bar. Now I went to Sephora a couple weeks ago with two of my friends and we were just spraying all the Dry Bar products all throughout our hair because they smell amazing. If you guys have not smelled them yet, definitely smell them. Um, this is paraben sulfate and phthalate free and it's fine for color treated hair. So this adds, you add it to damp hair for texture and volume or to dry hair for grit and texture, which is what I always want. See, like my hair is not usually this straight. Let me tell you about the scent. It smells like kind of like sugar actually. Just sweet and delicious. So. Um, my hair usually has a little bit more texture than this, but today doesn't. So, oh, it really does smell like an island. So this gives you just like some grit. I actually did use this in Sephora. If you're going to buy hair products from Sephora, definitely try them out if you can in the store, just because why not? They're there to try them. But see how this kind of gives me that kind of messier texture? Then I got the little birthday gift. This is what you get for your birthday. It's the two of the NARS, um, what are these called? lip pencil. So one's satin and one's a matte. If I can get them out. One's a bright red or like a deep red which I probably won't wear until the fall. Here's this. It's actually a really decent size. This is in the shade Corella. I'm pretty impressed with this for a birthday gift. So it's just like a deep matte red. I've never tried these before. And then this one is a really pretty wearable color. It's called Rikugian. No idea. And this is the satin, so it's a sheer, like, mauve color. Here's that. So, not much color, but a really good thing to just kind of throw in your purse. What is my hair doing right here? <laughs> okay. Then I got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And this is the pressed shimmering skin perfector. So, I have, like, all of the liquid ones. I have Opal, Topaz, and Moonstone. I have Moonstone on my cheeks right now. I just added it on top of my foundation. And I've been actually using Topaz a lot. It's the tan, like bronze one, um, just to give my skin some tan, and I love it. So I want to try this because I know so many people just rave about this, and I, I love my Mary Luminizer by the Balm, and I have some other ones that I really like, but highlighters are just so pretty, so I felt like, why not? I needed to add something else to my cart, too. So here's this. I haven't swatched it yet, so we will see. Pretty, really pretty. So it's just like a shimmering, it's not the lightest, the Moonstone's the lightest, but this one I wanted because it's a little bit more ivory and a little bit more like your, my, my skin tone. Let me just put a little bit on right now. I am so impressed with Becca products lately. Like I, I just think their products are really nice. So if you are kind of on the fence about Becca, definitely try them. The packaging is beautiful. I got another of one of my Hourglass Arch. I got this at Sephora like uh, two weeks ago because I ran out of mine and I cannot be without this. So this is a eyebrow pencil. I get the shade Blonde, which usually I don't get, I usually get like a step up from Blonde because it's a little light for me, but this one just happens to work perfectly. The reason I really like this is because the actual product is a thick, like a thicker, it, it covers more surface area on your eyebrows than like the Brow Wiz does by Anastasia, Anastasia. Uh, the NYX one I really like too, but again, it's that really tiny tip. This one is a little bit bigger, so I just find that I can do my eyebrows way faster when I use this. I like to go in with one of the skinny ones just for like the arch to kind of define it, but this is just so quick and perfect on days when I don't really want to wear much makeup, I can just use this. I also got the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This is oil-free, paraben-free, and this is their cooling one. And it's, it used to be called, um, what did it used to be called? I just totally forgot. But it was like the dewy finish, and I just love this because it keeps your makeup staying all day long. I've been using the NYX dewy finish, and it's just not the same. It's not as good. Also, I have the Victoria's Secret Setting Spray, and it's... It's not as good. This one, let's see, makes your makeup last all day and it feels so good on your skin. Oh my gosh, I just love this and I missed it so much. This is one of these products that I hate buying because it's just 
like I think it's 30 bucks so I I hate buying this but I hate not having it. Then I got one of these 100 point perks this is the living proof instant texture mist and again I like these texture mists they're fun to use they make your hair just a little bit more lived in and I'm loving living proof products like if you guys did not see my review on the shampoo and conditioner in my Thursday must-haves it is the best like I've never tried a shampoo and conditioner that I've really noticed a difference in the style of my hair when I, I didn't use it today and I feel like I can tell um, when I use it my hair lasts so long and it feels clean for so long it's just I mean I will I feel like I'm gonna buy that forever and I don't even mind that it's a little more pricey it's just so good and then I got some of the samples the amazing concealer let me know if you've tried any of these samples this has like I don't know what this is it's something about fragrance oh this just has a ton of different perfumes in here this is kind of cool and then I have a sample of the YSL concealer to shake lot whoa whoa I've never tried this before also a sample of the Kat Von D Lock It foundation and some perfume that just fell down there. I was recently sent the Roller Lash by Clout and then two of these little sample guys and this mascara has been just my love for the past like two weeks that I've had it. It makes your lashes so long and separated and what I do is I'll use the mascara, let my eyelashes dry and then I go in with an eyelash curler and curl them and I just have never been so more in love with my eyelashes. I was like, Andrew, look at my eyelashes. Do they look longer to you? And he's like, yeah, totally. But the sad thing is, when I went to the river this past weekend, I lost this. And I don't know how I lost it. I wasn't, like, throwing my mascara around. So I'm using the sample one now, but it's not the same because the, I love the applicator of this. Like, the part that you hold is so nice. It's like a rubber, and it's just the best. So now I need to get another one because I just the sample is just not the same because I need the full the full size. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that I love it. It's just so good, and it's um, I just right, moving on to the products that I got from the makeup show. So oh my gosh, Hourglass was forty percent off, and I was just like, I don't need any of these things, but forty percent off, like how can you pass it up? I was super sad they didn't have the eyebrow pencil there because that's what I needed but they didn't have it so I found some other things to get so I got the uh, modernist eyeshadow palette and I've been using this and it is really really good the, the um, eyeshadows are really creamy they're really pigmented and the colors are just perfect um, I got the infinity palette because I like neutrals and I figured I could get a lot of use out of this so there are four mattes and one shimmer shade so you get like a dark charcoal kind of a mid-tone brown, a like, this is kind of like a purpley gray shimmer, a light brown, and then an ivory color, and I mean, the palette alone is just beautiful, but I've been really impressed with this. It's really good for travel because you get every single color that you need, just transition shades, blending out colors, crease, it's just, it's really good. So if you guys have been wondering like how this actually works, it works great. Um, I'm trying to think how much it cost for the full price because I don't know if I would pay the full full price for this, like 40% off, yes, but um, it's a, it is a little pricey. I also got a blush. This is the Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Luminous Flush. So this is the one that's pink with a little bit of gold veining in it, and it's really pretty. I wish, I kind of wish I got a darker color now. I think this was a second to lightest, but when I um, put it on my cheeks, it's just a really pale pink, which is pretty, but... Um, Recently, I've been into more like peachy tan colors on my cheeks, so, uh, but I do really like this. Um, would I buy it full price? I don't think so. 40% off, yeah, but um, there are others that I think are great, so, um, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I have this, but for you guys, I don't know. It's like, it's, it's good, but I don't know if that's worth full price. I also got this product by Ellie Foz. It's their Creamy Lips, and this is in the color... L108. I think it's peach something. So it's like look this looks like this little bullet. I got the red one, but it's not creamy lips, it's something else. And it's in a brush applicator. This one is a sponge tip applicator. And this was kind of an impulse buy. I didn't really need this, but I was at the counter with them and there were so many people at the makeup show, it was like insane, and I just felt so overwhelmed and 
I just watched this and I was just like, okay, yeah, I'll buy it. But then I'm like, God, why did I buy that? It's just not the best color for my skin tone. I, it's like a peachy nude, but for me, I like more cool tone lip colors. So, I mean, I'll like this when I am um, have a tan. I think it'll be nice, but in general, I just feel like pink pink colors look better on me. If there was like something a little more pinky nude, I would have gone that, but they, this was like their only kind of nude color. But I do really like the texture of this, and it feels really nice on the lips. I also got a lipstick by Youngblood Mineral Cosmetics. So I was really impressed by all these products by this company. So this is a um, rich creamy color that conditions your lips with a blend of natural oils and minerals. This is paraben free and cruelty free. And I got this shade Blushing Nude. And I wanted just a color that I could wear every day, stick in my purse. And I feel like right now I don't really have many good nudes that I can just throw on. So here is that. And it's a little bit lighter than my actual lip color. So it just gives like a nice neutral color. Just makes you look like you have something on your lips. And I like the texture of this. It's not, um, it's kind of like a satin compared to MAC lipsticks. But it's really creamy and really moisturizing. So I'm, ex I'm glad that I got that. And then the last thing I got for the makeup show was this Blink Eyeliner. I believe they carry this at Sephora. So this is the Ultra Thin Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And this is so crazy. Woo! So crazy thin. It's like if you guys use the Eye Booster by Physicians Formula, this is like half the size of that one. Um, let me just draw a couple lines on the back. Can you see those? So it gives you just such a precise line. So what I do with this, I think it's a little too thin to like do my entire eyes. I mean, you can, it's totally fine, but take some time. So I like to use my Physicians Formula Eye Booster and then go back in with this on the inner part of my eye and then just kind of perfect the line. And then if I'm doing a wing, I'll use this for the wing and it creates like a super fine tip. This lasts all day long. The only downside of this, when you rub it off, it kind of balls off of your eyes. So which is fine, but if you are applying, if you like to apply black shadow on top of your eyeliner, this will kind of flake off when you apply that. So if you apply this alone, it's fine. Just don't like apply any eyeshadow on top. And be Next I have some products from Measure Leak. So this is the Rosewater Balancing Mist. This is a refreshing mist to hydrate and soften. And these were sent to me, but I have purchased this before in the past. It is a really refreshing mist. I use it to set my makeup sometimes. I use it as a toner. I also like to use it just throughout the day to kind of refresh my face. Um, it tightens your pores and it just really puts a ton of moisture into your skin. I got this back when I was in New York, like I think it was either last summer or the summer before. And I wanted to get something there, but I was like, I don't know what to get, what do I need? And I always go for like mists because they feel so nice and they're just like something that I always know that I will use and this will last you a long, long time. Then I have the Herbal Recovery Advanced Serum. This is a Youth Defense Active Gel Concentrate. So that is this guy. And I've actually used one. I think this is the same one that I used to have, um, but this looks like it's a smaller, unless this is different. So this combats fine lines, dullness, dehydration, and it has 18 botanical extracts, vitamins, essential fatty acids. This is supposed to protect your skin against environmental aggressors. So uh, this is a very, I believe, I mean, I, this looks like the one I had. Yeah, it's just a really lightweight gel. And um, it's, they smell, all those really products smell amazing. Then I have the Herbal Recovery Night Cream. This is a firming antioxidant overnight cream. It has a lot of antioxidants in here, botanical extracts, and it's supposed to minimize the appearance of fine lines and increase your skin elasticity, hydration. So it comes in this, it's like a nice glass container and it's a really rich cream. We'll see if this is too heavy. No, it feels, it feels light. Like when you blend out, it feels really nice. Oh, and it just smells so nice. So if you guys have tried this, this is the one product of those two, three that I haven't tried. Um, but if you have tried this, let me know. And then last up, I wanted to show you some products that I got my I will put a link to it down below if you guys want to check it out. I just ordered a couple products from their website actually about two weeks ago. They have discounted products and I got the Bumble and Bumble Surf Shampoo. I think I just got the shampoo because I wanted to try it out. And I can't remember what else I got. That's always bad when you don't remember what else you got. What did I get? I don't know. So first up there is the Bedhead Manipulator. This is their mini size and this is a texture paste. 
So, did you guys used to use bedhead products all the time? I used to use these like all the time in high school and I thought they were so cool. So this is like a gooey, it looks like GAC. Do you guys remember GAC? Smells really good. Like their products are really fragranced. A lot of people don't really know what to do with like texture pomades and stuff. When my hair is curly, what I like to do is just take a really tiny amount and just kind of run it throughout my ends and just kind of mess it up. And it gives your hair some grit, some texture, and it helps those curls to last a long time. There's also this product by Balance Me. It's the Revitalizing Hand and Body Wash. And this is 99% natural. I've never tried this company. I've never heard of this company. It's There's no parabens, sulfates, petroleum, mineral oil, silicone, DEA, PEG, propyl glycol, artificial co colors. Let's see. I think this smells like lime. Yeah, it just smells really citrusy and nice. Then there is the Corez... Aloe and Soapwort Shampoo. I've only tried a few products by Corez. The, mm, it smells really nice. The Lip Butter and Jasmine I love so much, but I, I haven't tried many things. I know um, Estee from Essie Button likes Corez a lot, so if you guys have tried any of their products, let me know what you like. And there is this eyeliner by Inica, and it is a certified organic eyeliner, and it's in the shade Black Caviar. I'm really excited. I said this before, but I feel like a lot of uh, subscription boxes and monthly boxes are giving you a lot of um, more natural options, which I really like. So this is like a really black, inky coal, and I think I'll really like this. I like using a more natural eyeliner on the inner waterline because my eyes are really sensitive, so um, it has to be a really gentle product. Then there are these diet pills. They are by Forza. 30 day supply, vitamins, minerals, trace elements, and they're for women. So they've, it's good for your skin, hair, nails. There's collagen, helps give you some energy, good for your bone health and immune system. I've been actually on a huge, they're like cute pink, huge vitamin kick lately. There are these vitamins that I've been taking that have changed my skin. Like I was telling you guys, my skin has been just like out of control, but I started taking these vitamins that one of you guys recommended to me. They're expensive, they're like 40 bucks. I got them on Amazon. They are called Fem Balance, I believe. I will put a link to them down below, but they have really, really helped my skin a lot. So if you guys are struggling with your skin, definitely check them out. They, are, they help um, balance your hormones. And the last thing in this little box is this CB12 Safe Breath Oral Hair, Oral Hair, Oral Care Agent. So I'm wondering if this is like a more natural um, mouthwash. I don't know, but it's a cute little thing. So those are all the new goodies that I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys order stuff from the VIB sale, let me know what you got down below. Not that I need to get anything else, but um, I always like to know what I should try. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to my channel, you can subscribe right here. Just click this box to see all my new uploads. I also did a review on the Cover Effects custom cover drops. You can see how they apply, how you mix them, and just kind of like what they are, what they do. I also did a review on the new Alba Botanica Quick Fix line. So they have products to like quickly fix your dark circles, under eye puffiness, pimples, thin lips. They're really neat. So you can watch that right here. And that's all I have for you guys today. So I will see you in my next video. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.